This video is a brief introduction of our paper called Scenario Transferable Semantic Graph Reasoning for Interaction Aware Probabilistic Prediction. There are many unsolved challenges in prediction algorithms for autonomous vehicles, and one of them is to find comprehensive and generic representations for all common scenarios that can be encountered in the real world. The second challenge is flexibility where we wish the predictor is able to deal with time-varying number of homogeneous or even heterogeneous agents. The third challenge is zero-shot transferability, where we wish the predictor learned from limited scenarios can be directly used under other unforeseen scenarios, and such ability is extremely important for autonomous vehicles to navigate in dynamically changing environment. Therefore, in this paper, our goal is to tackle the aforementioned challenges simultaneously and merge them into a single behavior predictor for autonomous vehicles. Let's have a quick overview of our proposed prediction framework. So for any given scenario, we're able to first extract some static information. We're then able to extract some dynamic information. After that, we utilized the proposed semantic graphs to construct structural and spatial temporal relations within these representations. So, given a current scenario, we are able to utilize a two-dimensional semantic graph to describe the scene, and we want to predict how the current driving scene will be involved into the future, which can be represented by a set of three-dimensional semantic graphs. To do that, a semantic graph network is proposed, and it has the structure like this. In general, this is the overall framework. So now let's dig into more details for each module. We first look at a static representation. In order to extract generic representation of static environment, we first introduce a concept of reference path which usually can be obtained from row centerline, and the reference paths are typically defined by polynomial curves. Upon each reference path, we further introduce the concept of reference point, which can be either used to represent different topological elements, including undecided overlap, line overlap, and point overlap. Or these reference points can be used to represent regulatory elements such as traffic lights and traffic signs. For generalization purpose, we utilize the free net frame instead of Cartesian coordinate to represent the environment. Now let's see how we extract generic representation of the dynamic environment. In fact, the dynamic environment representation is based on the concept of dynamic insertion area, or DIA, that we proposed. It is defined as dynamically moving area that can be inserted or entered by agents on the road. It usually has four boundaries. The front and rear boundaries of a DIA are usually formulated by road entities, but the two boundaries can also be any obstacles or predefined bounds based on traffic rules and row geometry. Therefore, under any driving situations, we can extract DIAs and utilize them to represent various dynamic environments, including different row structures and traffic regulations. Now, let's see how semantic graphs are defined. Semantic graphs are used to describe structural relations among dynamic insertion areas. The definition of two-dimensional semantic graph is similar to that of the traditional graph, however, here we treat DIA as node attribute. The three-dimensional semantic graph, on the other hand, spans the entire period of scene evolution, and the information it contains can be used to describe possible future outcomes. Here are illustrations of DIAs under different driving environments and the corresponding semantic graphs. We can see that we are able to utilize semantic graphs to generically represent various driving scenes such as highway, on-off ramp, urban roads, ramp merge, roundabout, and intersection. 
Finally, we get into the semantic graph network structure. And here is the overall network structure. And basically, given a two-dimensional semantic graph, the network will output a set of three-dimensional semantic graphs, which contain the information of which DIA the predicted vehicle will insert into and the corresponding goal state. The loss function includes a classification term as well as a regression term for our prediction problem. To examine the proposed algorithm, we conducted experiments on real-world driving data under two scenarios. Now let's see how our predictor performs. Here we train and test our predictor under a roundabout scenario. The black car is a predicted vehicle, and the darker the shaded area is, the higher probability it will be entered by the vehicle. This is another test scenario. This is the regression part of the prediction results for the previous testing case. We also quantitatively evaluated the predictor's prediction performance and compared it with different methods. However, in fact, we're more interested in the zero-shot transferability of our predictor. Therefore, we trained the predictor on the roundabout but tested on the intersection and here are some of the test results. This is another test scenario where the predicted black vehicle first encountered a stop sign and then negotiates the road with the yellow vehicle. According to evaluation, we concluded that the proposed algorithm processes strong transferability where the zero-shot transfer model can still maintain desirable performance. For more details, please check our paper. Thank you.